Today, I'm going to compare this to this. So stick around. Hey everybody, it is Aaron at Warmoth. And one question I see come up all the time on various forums is, can I build a guitar that will sound like a Les Paul? And the answers are usually fairly predictable. Some people will say, if you want a Les Paul, buy a Les Paul, which is valid. Um, my answer is usually, well, which Les Paul? Because the, the Les Paul sound is a range of sounds. Um, and then I usually go on to say, yeah, you can build a guitar that is going to fall somewhere in that range. It may not sound like the particular Les Paul that, that is your reference point, but you can build a guitar that's going to sound somewhere in that range. Uh, well, today we're going to put that to the test because I have my personal Les Paul here, and then I have this guitar that uh, I built from Warmoth Parts, and it's, you can see by looking at it, sort of a Les Paul configuration. It's got a tunematic bridge. Um, it's got two humbuckers and the LP toggle up there in the corner. Uh, but I should say that I made no attempt to make it sound like this Les Paul or any other Les Paul. I just built it based on the, fe the features that I wanted. And it's honestly really not that close to a Les Paul. It's got uh, an alder body. It's got a maple neck with a rosewood fretboard. It's got a 25 and a half inch scale length. Um, so it doesn't have any of the same, you know, base materials. It's, it's fairly different. Um, but it does have a, a JB pickup, a JB in the bridge and a 59 in the neck. This has the Gibson uh, 498T in the bridge and the 490R in the neck position. So they're roughly from the same ballpark. It's a higher output bridge uh, position pickup. So we're going to compare them and, and see whether I'm right or not, see how close they are. And then, of course, I also have this. This is my Warmoth Meadowhawk. And uh, again, no attempt was made here to make it sound like a Les Paul, but it, it shares some of the same DNA. It's got the toggle switch up here. It's two humbuckers. This one, the body is mahogany. The neck is roasted maple with rosewood. Um, and the pickups, by the way, this is a bare knuckle crawler and a bare knuckle uh, crawler neck pickup. So again, the pickups are higher output bridge. Um, and a, a weaker output uh, neck pickup. So they're all kind of in the same ballpark. But again, no attempt was made to make these guitars sound the same. Now, they're, because they're all my personal guitars, I've performed and recorded with them a lot. So I think I know how this is going to turn out, but I'm not going to tell you. I want you to approach it with fresh ears. And to be honest, I'm kind of interested to see how I will perceive it um, if you've watched the video that I did a while back called Tone is in Your Head, I, I put forth the argument that uh, our perception of a guitar's tone uh, is through the lens of being the one who's playing it and feeling those resonances against your body and feeling how the neck vibrates and the bridge and all that stuff. And it's sort of inextricably linked to how you perceive the tone. Um, and I stand by that argument. So it'll be interesting for me to play these guitars back to back and then listen to it without playing them. Just listen to it with fresh ears and see how they actually compare when I'm not playing them. So I'm interested in that too. But anyway, let's get on with it.
All right, so how do you think you did? I must admit that on some of those clips, they sounded more alike than even I thought they were going to. I think it was mostly the the ones that were recorded on the bridge pickup. Um, the one When I got to the middle position or the neck pickup only, I think you could hear a bigger difference. And I guess I would attribute that to the bridge peak pickup in all three guitars being a high output pickup and the neck pickup being a much lower output pickup. Even though there are different models of pickup in every guitar, I think the, that higher output pickups tend to sound more samey in general, whereas lower output pickups, you can hear more of the guitar itself come through and you can start to hear bigger differences in tonality between guitars. Um, so yeah, I, I, I heard a much more of a difference between them on the neck pickup. It would be interesting to do this again with a low output bridge pickup and see if you could hear the difference better that way. But let me put you out of your misery. In every case, guitar A was the Meadowhawk, guitar B was the Les Paul, and guitar C was the other guitar made with Warmoth parts, the green one. And uh, it, yeah, I just, I found it, I can, I can tell you that when I was playing the clips, I thought they sounded hugely different. Like the, the physical experience of playing each guitar, they couldn't sound more different. Uh, the Les Paul has this kind of, I don't know how to describe it. It's got a Les Paul feel and a Les Paul sound. It vibrates like a Les Paul. And amplified, it just has kind of this snottier sound that's a little more snarly in the, in the upper mids. Uh, the Meadowhawk, I would say, is more like a PRS. It tends to be a little smoother. It's got a, a more smooth tonality overall, but especially in kind of the lower, eh, I wouldn't say the lower mids, just the mids. Uh, I think that's because of the crawler pickups. The crawler neck pickup is a really interesting pickup. When you um, dial the volume back, it almost gets this chime to it that I've never heard on a humbucker pickup before. It's really, it's, it's a really cool set of pickups, which is why I chose them for the Meadowhawk. Um, but yeah, anyway, the, the, um, the green guitar that has the tele replacement body on it, that one has kind of a more, a drier tone to it. Um, and of course I'm, I'm, you know, splitting hairs here. Uh, you can tell by the clips that they all sound pretty close. Um, but when I'm when I'm getting right down to the Nat's eyelash, that's how I would characterize them: is that the the Les Paul has an upper mid kind of snottiness to it. Uh, the Middle Hawk sounds smooth, and then the other one just sounds drier. But they all sound very much within the scope of uh, what you would you know how you would characterize a Les Paul. So I think the answer is unequivocally yes. You can make a guitar that sounds like a Les Paul, and it can be very different from a Les Paul. I think really what you need are um, are uh, the the right. Well, you know, now that I think of it, I was going to say the bridge, but this one doesn't have a a, a tunematic bridge. Um, man, that's that's an interesting question. Like, what do you need to get the Les Paul sound? I guess you need two humbuckers. That's, that's all I can narrow it down to, is like two humbuckers and maybe a rosewood fretboard. Because um, these are even all different scale lengths. Uh, I, I can tell you that when you're just talking about sound, I think maybe all you need is two humbuckers. But the experience, the tactile experience of playing the guitar is hugely, hugely different. Uh, that shorter scale length makes it feel different. Um, and just the, the way it resonates is completely different. So that's interesting. Uh, a Les Paul, to me now, is a lot more just about the, that feel of it. Now, and by the way, you can get much closer to a Les Paul playing experience and all by choosing an ombre body and an ombre neck. Um, that's a, the ombre body is a big, thick mahogany body or you know it could be any wood you want but you can get it out of mahogany 
So you could really, if you chose an ombre body and an ombre neck from Warmoth, you could get very close to the Les Paul recipe, uh, put a tunematic on it and, a, you know, a couple of humbuckers, and you're going to be very close in tone and feel to a Les Paul. Uh, maybe I should do that someday, like, like put together an ombre guitar with the same scale length, tunematic bridge, and exact same humbuckers and see how close I can get there. But honestly... If we're just talking about tone, I don't know how much closer you can get than the three I played today. But anyway, I'm curious to know what you think, because I'm sure a lot of you guys out there have experience comparing Les Pauls to other dumbbell, double humbucker guitars. I want to hear what you have to say. So, so uh, you know, spell it out for me in the comments. Tell me whether you agree or disagree. And in the meantime, if you have any questions about uh, any Warmoth parts, uh, or putting together a guitar, or customizing a guitar, make sure and check out the Warmoth website. There's a wealth of information there. Or give our customer service reps a call. They're always e eager to help. And until next time, keep on picking. <laughs>